Hello, everyone. Hello. Good, Good afternoon. How are you Good doing? Afternoon. Hello, teacher. Hello. Everybody okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Nice. nice. I was watching your pictures on the WhatsApp group. Excellent job. Excellent job. Very interesting. We are going to use these pictures today, all right? We want to use these pictures for an activity in the breakup rooms. I see Alexandra there with her baby. Nice. Is Saura, uh, she's studying there. Edwin, haha. <laughs> Edwin is, well, playing video games, right? Yeah. All right, nice. Uh, let's see, I can see Blanca, right? Blanca is working there. Geraldina, excellent. You're having lunch, excellent. See, English class, yes. Denise, right? Norma, with your two babies, wow. Are they yours, Norma? Ah, yes, it says my son and my niece, all right, all right, mm -hmm. very good picture. Let's see, I'm working in the office, says Juan Marcelo, excellent. All right, I see that you did your job. Now we are going to start a class because it's the same thing we are going to practice today, all right? We are going to ask the question, what are you doing? What are you doing? But we are going to do this with the right intonation, all right? What are you doing, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Down, right? Falling down. The last part of the question, falls down in the intonation, all right? In the intonation. Nice, Daniela. It says, it's time to make breakfast. Excellent, at nine, nice. Okay, so let me uh, share the screen with you to start, all right? We want to start. Mm -hmm. And we want to ask this question. This is the question we want to answer today. What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Ustedes tal vez han escuchado la pregunta, how are you doing? A veces se las he hecho yo, ¿verdad? How are you doing? Es muy diferente de what are you doing. How are you doing? Es un saludo. Es como decir, hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Verdad? How are you doing? Pero esta pregunta es, what are you doing? Y en esta pregunta tenemos que contestar con lo que estamos haciendo, las acciones, las actividades que estamos haciendo en ese momento, ¿ok? Que nos están preguntando. Eh, por lo tanto, tenemos que aprender los verbos, ¿verdad? Tenemos que aprender los verbos para poder contestar las acciones. Uh, por ahí estábamos viendo en las fotos sus actividades que estaban haciendo. For example, uh, Blanca said work, all right? The verb or the action is work, all right? Work, excellent. Now, Lupita was, no, yeah, Blanca is Lupita, right? Um, it says, okay. Marcelo said work too. Uh -huh. Norma said relax, all right? Relax is a different verb. It's an action because you are resting, you are calm and are having fun, right? Relax, relax, very good. Uh, it's time for English class. There we don't have an action, but we can say uh, for have, okay? Having, have, having an English class, very good. Or take an English class, very good. Now, 
uh, my lunch time. So, Geraldina, it's lunch at 1 p.m., right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Another verb, play, el de Edwin, ¿verdad? Play. Ajá. Pero play también significa varias cosas, porque play puede ser jugar y puede ser también tocar un instrumento. También play puede ser darle a que eh, accionar el CD, ¿verdad? O la música. Dele play, dice uno, ¿sí? Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Play es darle a que inicie un video o accionar, ¿verdad? Un device, darle play. Uh, o música, right? And Isaura said study. Study es un verbo también, ¿ok? Es un verbo. So the verbs are actions, are words to express action or activities. We express the activities saying a verb and a short complement, a short complement. For example, the complement that Isaura is using there says study English. English is the complement for the activity. Because we could say study math, study language, study, uh, I don't know, biology, okay? So we can add any complement to that action, or to that verb, or to that verb, right? Okay, bien. Entonces, este día vamos a tratar de darle una respuesta a esta pregunta. What are you doing? Primero vamos a irnos al repasito, ¿verdad? To the feedback. Let's remember what were we studying last class. ¿Qué estábamos estudiando la clase pasada? A ver. Clock. Exactly. What time. time is it? Y también eh, decíamos o una comparison de qué hora era en otro lugar, ¿verdad? What time is it there? Okay. What time is it there or what time is it right now over here? Okay. So we can use, what time is it there? What time is it here? What time is it? What time is it? Okay, so mine, my picture was, it's English class time, it's 1 p.m. I am teaching right now, okay? I am teaching right now. Okay, vamos a arreglar un poquito, así como hemos hecho esto acá, ¿verdad? Con sus, eh, con sus fotos, okay? So allow me to share the WhatsApp. It's still loading, look. Oh, there it is, nice. La vamos a hacer así. Voy a ponerlo en el chat para que lo recordemos. Acordémonos, la pregunta es, what time is it? Luego, la siguiente oración que sería la respuesta, it's el nombre de el momento, ¿verdad? Luego de eso, vamos a decir uh, la hora. It's, y dicen la hora, 9 o'clock a.m. It's 12 o'clock p.m. It's 1 p.m., right? All right. Now, después de esa, vamos a decir la acción que estamos realizando. I am cooking breakfast or making breakfast. I am working in the office, okay? Vaya, vamos a hacer las cuatro para empezar a verlas. Vamos a ver. Vamos a irnos desde arriba. Just one moment. Trying to share this here. Okay, here we go. Let's look at this one first and then we go backwards, right? Nos quedamos trabados, ¿verdad?
Esperemos que ahí sí la ve. Ok. Here we are. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. What time is it? Ajá. Uh -huh. It's time to make breakfast. What time is it? It's nine o'clock a.m. All right. Daniela is making Bye. breakfast. All right. Making breakfast. Para decir cocinar el desayuno, está muy bien esta frase. Make breakfast. También Bye. podemos usar el verbo cook breakfast. Podemos usar el verbo prepare breakfast, ¿ok? Make, prepare, or cook. Suenan muy bien para hacer el desayuno, ¿verdad? Teacher. Tell me. And what about it's time to do breakfast? Uh, no. To do breakfast means that you are going to have breakfast, all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's time to have breakfast. Este ya sería otra acción. Pero do no entra en make porque make es hacer, crear, ok, mm -hmm. so, fabricar, yeah. And do es que se realice esa acción si va acompañado con ese verbo, ¿verdad? Ok, there you are. All right, so let's look at the next one. Bien chévere su cabello ahí, Daniela. In the morning, yeah, because you're curly. I have a niece uh, who's, uh, whose hair is curly too. And, you know, it's a precious, it's a beautiful hair. I love curly hair, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's look at Juan Marcelo. Let's look at Juan Marcelo's picture, okay. What is he doing there? What is he doing? Okay, what time is it there? What time is it there? Ajá, uh -huh. por ahí nos dijo Marcelo, ¿qué hora era por ahí? Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. 12 o'clock. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. It's, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Yes. So it's time to work, right? It's time to work. Mm -hmm. It's time I work. Yes. What's he doing? He is working in his office, right? He yes, is working in his office. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Vamos arreglando acá la siguiente. I'm sorry. So sí, here we go. Agregar un poco. Eh. Eh, sí, porque era de practicar la pregunta, Marcelo. Era, what time is it? Y luego sí. las respuestas, ¿verdad? All right. So, what time is it? Here? What time is it here? Ajá. Uh -huh. It's Three time. For relax. Excellent. Excellent. It's time to relax with my son and my niece. Excellent. But what time is it? What time yes. is it there? Ajá. Uh -huh. It's three, three. three o'clock p.m. Excellent. It's three o'clock p.m. Excellent. So now let's say, what is Norma doing? What is Norma doing in that picture? She is relaxing, right? It's She relaxing. is relaxing. Yes. Okay, I just want you to notice in context the use of the language. Say what people are doing at certain times, all right? Let's look at this one. Who is that? Who is that? It's time to... That's the knees, English right? Class. That's the okay. knees. Uh-huh, that's the knees. Uh-huh. What time is it there? It's time to... for English class. Excellent. It's time for English class. And what time is it there? Yes, what one, time is it there? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock p.m. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's continue. Let's watch this other one. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, we're hungry too. We're hungry. All right. Who, who's this? Who's this? 
Uh -huh. She is Geraldina, right? Okay. What time is it there? What time is it there? Sorry. For lunch. Uh huh. It's lunch time. Yes, it's lunch time. It's time for lunch. It's good. Okay. It's lunch time. It's good. It's time for lunch. Good too. All right. She says that she feels sick and she's got a flu. Oh, so sorry to hear that, Geraldina. We hope you get better soon. All right. Right. Okay. Continue with the pictures. Aha, uh -huh. who's here? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Uh -huh. uh, ¿Quién es ella? Who's that? She is. Uh -huh. mm. ¿Quién está ahí en esa foto? Blanca. Lupita. Yes, yes. Blanca Guadalupe, right? Okay, then. What time is it there? What time is it there? It's time to work. It's time to work. What time is it there? It's 10 o'clock a.m. Excellent. Very good. Very good. What is she doing? What is she doing? She is working. working. She is working. Okay. Este se llama terapia de choque. No hemos visto la teoría y ya vamos haciéndolo de un solo. Vaya, vamos a ver acá. What time is it? Oh, who's that? Who's that, guys? He is? Playing. He Edwin. is Edwin. Yes, he's Edwin. Uh -huh. What time is it there? What time is it there? It's time to play. It's time to play videos. Or watch video video games. games. Oh, yes, watch it's time to play video games. Yes. So what time is it? It is 6, 6 p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. Excellent. It's 6 o'clock p.m. Very good. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. let's look at this picture. Very nice picture, too. Aha, uh -huh. who's this? Who's this? Alexandra. She is Alexandra. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. what time is it there? What time is it there? It's going home for English class. Okay, it's time for going home. Okay, or it's time for English class. Okay, what time is it there? What it time is, is in the, on the it clock? Is, it is one o'clock p.m. Excellent, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. She's with her baby. Alexandra, are you there? Yes. What's your baby's name? It's my niece. Oh, I thought she was your oh. daughter. All right. But she's it's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> she's very cute. Okay, so she's your niece. And what's her name? Emilia. Emilia. All right. Nice to meet Emilia today. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now let's look at this beautiful woman. Who is this? This is Isaura Vasquez. Yes, Isaura. Okay, then what time is it there? It is a student English time. Excellent. And what time is it on the clock? It's one. One PM. Excellent. It's one o'clock p.m. Very good. Very good. I think she was the last picture, right? She. This one was the last picture. Yes, it was. Okay, people. So now I hope everybody take your own pictures. Okay, everybody, please take your picture. This is to practice. Okay, this is to practice. Practice. Okay. One second. Allow me sharing. Now we are going to see something that is very interesting because we have 
to make the difference between the time zones that cities are, to know the difference of the time in our country and a different country from our city to, um, I mean, to a different city. Han visto ustedes en la tele que dicen una hora, dos horas diferentes a las que va a salir un programa? Sí. Okay, it's important to know the difference, right? They say west and they say east, right? Mm -hmm. They say west or they say east. Entonces, eh, los usos horarios, ¿verdad? O los, las zonas horarias son precisamente para eso, para diferenciar, para, miren, esta no es una clase de, de geografía ni tampoco pues de, de, pero es una clase de inglés y tenemos que aprender a comunicarnos, ¿verdad? En inglés. Ok, entonces vamos a ver nada más así, a simple solo para eh, tener el vocabulario necesario cuando querramos decir eso, ¿verdad? Y mira qué horas son allá en Sao Paulo, ¿verdad? Que son las ciudades que hemos visto en el libro. Hey, ¿qué horas son allá en Vancouver? ¿Cómo decimos eso? A ver, intentemos decirlo. What time is it in Lima? No. Ajá. Excellent. Ajá. Ajá. A What ver, ¿hay más? Canada? Tenemos un gran fondo musical el día de hoy. <risa> Nos han puesto serenata, Juan Marcelo. Yay. <risa> ok. Vaya, vamos a ver. Este, decían la pregunta, alguien no alcancé a distinguir quién era. Mi teacher. Oh, ok. ¿Cómo podemos preguntar eso, Daniela? Uh, maybe, what time is it in Canada? All right. Uh -huh. What time is it in Canada? Yes. Aunque puede ser también, what time is in? Right, what time is in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, allow me to share this slide just to have an idea how to express about the differences, okay? The differences between the time from El Salvador in another city or in another country, okay? This is the way to say something like this, all right? Something like this. Um, para expresar más o menos y como cuánto tiempo estamos atrás o adelante, ¿verdad? De el tiempo de alguna ciudad. Ok. For example, yo pregunto, what time is in Vancouver? What time is in Vancouver? Ok, so let's... Look at what time is in El Salvador. What time is in El Salvador? Right now it's 1 and 24, right? 1 24. And it says Vancouver is one hour behind, behind El Salvador. Okay. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que va una hora atrás, ¿verdad? Va una hora atrás. Si ahorita son las 1 y 24 acá, ¿qué hora es en Vancouver? 12 y 24. Okay, then what time is in Vancouver? It's eight o'clock. No clock. It's 24. 24. Yes. A ver, digámoslo de la otra manera. It's 24. 24. Past 12. Okay, so there it is. This is the way to express, for example, si estamos allá en Vancouver, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos preguntar, bueno, ¿qué hora es ahorita? Si estoy en Vancouver, ¿verdad? Ah, entonces son, voy a decir son las 12 y 24. Y pregunto allá, what time is it in, what time is in El Salvador? Uh, then I can say, El Salvador is one hour ahead. Una hora adelante de la hora de Vancouver, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos ahead of, ahead of, ¿ok? Oh. Ahead of. Okay, let's look at Sao Paulo. Okay, what time is in Sao Paulo, guys? What time is in Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo is three hours ahead of El Salvador. Okay, then what time is it in El Salvador? 
it's three hours behind yeah. of Sao Paulo. But what time yeah. is in El Salvador right now? It's 1.25 p.m. Okay, so what time is in Sao Paulo then? It's 3.26. 4.26. Excellent. You were so clever, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now let's look at the last one. What time is in Los Angeles? What time is in Los Angeles? One hour behind El Salvador. Ajá. Okay. Ahora ubiquémonos. ¿Qué hora es ahorita aquí en El Salvador? What time is in El Salvador right now? It's 26 after or past one. Okay. So let's do the math. Hagamos la matemática. Los Angeles is one hour behind El Salvador. Okay. And right now it's 26 past one. It's yeah. 22. Yes, have we? 26. It's exactly. Uh huh. Two. 26. Okay. Mm. It's behind. Behind. Mm hmm. It's 26 past 12. Yeah. Yes, exactly. 26 pa past 12. Excellent. There you are. So it's behind. It's para atrás, ¿verdad? Y luego, si fuera adelante, okay, decimos ahead of. Ahead of. Okay? Bien. Ese es vocabulario. Okay, people. Now let's go and listen to a conversation. Let's listen to a conversation. These two guys, or it's a couple, they are talking about the time in different cities because they want to do something, okay? They, they, they want to talk to some friends. Uh, let's listen to this conversation. moment and allow me to share this. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen, what time is it in these cities? Okay. What time is it in these cities? Which cities? Bangkok, oh. Tokyo, Tokyo, and Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. So let's listen to this conversation to find out what time okay. is it there, all right? What time is it there? All right. What time is it now, Eric? It's four o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week, remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's nine in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. Okay, so what are they doing here? What are they doing? They are calling friends, right? 
They are calling friends mm -hmm, to different cities. What time is in Bangkok? What time is in Bangkok? Seven o'clock a.m. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What time is in Tokyo? Nine o'clock a.m. And what about Sao Paulo? It's nine o'clock p.m. Yes, it's nine o'clock p.m. All right. Hmm. And they express what people are doing, okay? What people are doing. And what is the verb tense we use to express actions at the time we're speaking? Uh, we use present continuous, okay? Present continuous. No solamente es el presente simple, ¿verdad? El presente simple se usa para actividades rutinarias y actividades que queremos expresar, eh, que hacemos todos los días o que siempre son así. Pero acciones que decimos en el momento que estamos hablando se usa el tiempo verbal que se llama presente continuo. En español nosotros decimos estoy comiendo, estoy estudiando. Ese es el presente continuo, ¿ok? Ahora ya aprendimos a distinguir what time is it there and what people are doing. Now let's listen to the next conversation because the next conversation is really interesting, ¿ok? Tiene una pequeña variación Espero que no les afecte mucho el final. Vamos a ver. So I'm really hungry, okay? I'm really hungry. Now let's listen. Page 32, exercise 5, conversation. I'm really hungry. Listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Oh, what kind? Cheese and mushroom. That's my favorite. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Ok, now, a ver, ¿tienen alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario en esta conversación? Do you have any question? No. No? Ok, veamos y fijémonos cómo armamos las preguntas. Las preguntas las armamos con las, eh, las palabras de pregunta y las palabras de pregunta se llaman WH porque todas son eh, las palabras interrogativas comienzan con WH. Tenemos acá what, tenemos why, ¿ok? Tenemos what y tenemos why, ¿ok? What, estamos preguntando qué, ¿ok? Why, estamos pidiendo una razón por qué la están haciendo, ¿ok? Esta es la palabra por qué, ¿ok? Why es por qué. Uh -huh. Usualmente contestamos con la palabra because, ¿ok? ¿Por qué es why? Because es porque, dando ya la razón. Ok, let's read the conversation again. Hi, mom, what are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Do you remember in the audio what kind of pizza is Steve? Making? What kind of pizza is Steve making? Do you remember from the audio? It's cheese and mushroom. Yes, cheese and mushrooms. Guess on mushrooms? Seven guess mushrooms? No. Hongos. Hongos. Mm, delicious. Delicious. 
Ajá. O, bueno, a algunas personas no mucho les agrada, ¿verdad? Pero sí, uh, es mushrooms and cheese. All right. A ver, vamos a escuchar a Geraldina y a Isaura, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Please role play the conversation. I'm still. Yes, please, Geraldina. Okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Mmm, I'm, I'm, I'm delicious. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, do you like making pizza, guys? Do you like making pizza? Yes, or do you like I, ordering I love pizza. pizza? You love yes. pizza? Okay. I love yes. pizza, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Do you cook your own pizza or do you order your pizza? I order my okay. pizza. <laughs> okay. I cook. I, uh, I prefer cook than pizza. Oh, nice. Seriously? Excellent. <laughs> okay, you can do it. Yes, to your own way. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, people, let's, uh, let's go and see the structure, ok, veamos la estructura de una pregunta que lleva una palabra WH, acordémonos que habíamos visto las, las preguntas en donde las respuestas eran cortas, se llamaban preguntas directas, se acuerdan, are you wearing blue shoes, ok, yes, I am, ok, Aquí no vamos a contestar solo con yes o con no, porque aquí me están pidiendo que dé una respuesta completa. Entonces, la estructura es, primero va la palabra de pregunta. Miren, why o oh, what. Puede ser where, puede ser how, ¿ok? Puede ser when, ¿ok? Y luego tenemos el verbo to be, miren. Puede ser is, puede ser are o puede ser am, porque va conjugado, ¿verdad? Luego el sujeto, the subject, puede ser cualquier pronombre o cualquier nombre de persona, nombre de animal, nombre de cosa, ¿ok? En el sujeto. Y luego un complemento, pero nunca se nos debe olvidar al escribirlo el question mark, que es lo importante hablando. Eso es lo importante escrito, ¿verdad? Pero lo importante hablando es la entonación, entonación, ¿ok? We need to uh, manage this and we want to do it the best we can because entonation add meaning to what we are saying, all right? La entonación normalmente es la que dice lo que estamos diciendo, le agrega significado, ¿verdad? A lo que decimos. Ok, then, let's go to the next part over here, ok. Y veamos, it says, the intonation of the yes, no questions, que son estas, ¿verdad? Que son preguntas directas. Si se fijan, empiezan directamente con el verbo, ¿verdad? El verbo to be. Ahora, estas empiezan con el, B, eh, perdón, la palabra WH, ¿verdad? Y luego sigue el verbo to be. A ver, en esta primera que ven aquí, what she doing, ah, esta está contractada, ¿verdad? En esta no la podemos contractar, en la de los plurales, pero en what is sí lo contractamos, ¿verdad? Lo podemos contractar cuando hablamos. Esta parte de pronunciation es básica para expresarnos correctamente, ¿ok? So we are going to listen and practice, but please notice the intonation, ¿ok? Creo que por ahí les va a salir alguna diferente, ¿ok? Así que le ponemos atención. Veamos, las directas, the intonation goes up, so raises up. Okay, and what about the WH questions? Uh, they fall intonation down, all right? So let's listen. 
Page 32, Exercise 6, Pronunciation, Rising and Falling Intonation, Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes-no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, let's practice, guys. Is she getting up? Everybody, is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is getting up? she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are, are they, they sleeping? sleeping? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Ahora veamos las preguntas con WH y serían así. What's she doing? What's she doing? Okay. No vamos a decir what's she doing? No, right? What's she doing? What's she doing? Everybody, please. What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? Excellent. What are they doing? What, what are, they are they doing? doing? Okay. What are they doing? What are they doing? Falling, right? Falling intonation. Now, listen to the questions. And we have to say if number two and number three, four, five, and six are raising intonation or falling intonation, okay? Rising or falling, okay? So let's listen. Page 32, exercise six, part B. Listen to the questions. Draw a rising arrow for rising intonation and a falling arrow for falling intonation. One. Are you wearing a coat? Is it rising or is it falling? Rising. Rising. Yes, rising, very good. Two. <laughs> what are you doing now? Falling. Falling. Falling, yeah. What are you doing now? Now, right? Okay, falling. Um, Number two is falling. Three. What time is it? Mm -hmm. Is falling. it rising falling. or falling? Falling. Falling, falling. 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. Number four. Four. Is it midnight? Rising. 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 Is it midnight? Yeah, is it midnight? Por el momento, yo, mi, mi, mi consejo, ¿verdad? Eh, es que lo, lo exageren para que su cerebro lo vaya grabando y les vaya quitando un poco la pena de hablarlo o de decirlo, porque se han fijado que no, cuando nos oyen hablar, ¿verdad? nosotros no queremos que nos digan, ay, qué chuy, no, 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 eso es lo correcto. That's yeah. the correct. Y si lo vamos a aprender, aprendámoslo bien, vea. Entonces, esta es la manera. So please pay attention and let's do it. It doesn't matter that you exaggerate at the beginning, okay? Later, you are going to make, it, to make I mean, you are going to make this uh, more naturally, okay? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Uh-huh. Rising or falling? Falling. 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 Falling, right? What color, right? <laughs> Are you from Thailand? Falling? Rising. 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 Oh, sorry. Rising. Rising. Or Rising. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, people, so now we are going to the next part because it's present continuous, right? Present continuous. We are going to do this uh, tomorrow. We are going to continue with this one. But now let's go to our slides. Y hagamos también la entonación, ¿verdad? A ver, voy a abrir... Vamos a ver. Ok. 
All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's complete this. Let's complete this. A ver, este, completemos lo primero. What's she doing? What's she doing? She's, she's playing. She's playing the violin. All right, she's playing the violin. All right, she is, right? She's, she's playing the violin. Excellent. I will erase this, but uh, before. A ver, Blanca, pregúntele, o sea, haga esta pregunta. Read the question and ask Norma, okay? Norma says the answer. Blanca. Okay. What, what is she doing? She is playing the violin. All right. Vaya, vamos a mejorar un poquito la pronunciación. Abramos la boca sin ninguna pena, sin ningún miedo, ¿ok? Tranquilas, respiremos y saquémoslo suavemente, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, vamos a escuchar a, a ver, um, Eunice y a... Um, oh, no recuerdo si Eunice es que está en... Estoy en, en, el, en el micro, sí. Oh, ok, sí, 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 ok. A ver, entonces vamos a escuchar a Denise y a Alexandra. Ah, creo que Alexandra también está de oyente, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, recuerdo que sí. A ver, entonces sería con Geraldina, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Ok. What is she doing? She's playing the violin. Excellent. Muy buena entonación. What is she doing? Ok, doing, falling. Y cuando vamos a decirlo en afirmativo, ahí demosle el, 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 la entonación correcta de, eh, de afirmación. She's playing the violin. Ok, she's not playing the piano. She's playing the violin, Geraldine. Ok, she's playing the violin. There you are. Ok. Bien, vamos a la siguiente. Hmm. Let's complete. They are having on my class. They are. Mm -hmm. They are, okay. They are mm -hmm. having an online class. Okay, vamos a ver, uh, escuchemos a, es que tengo a todos los demás como apagado el video, entonces voy a seguir usando los que estamos, usando, no, perdón, llamando a los que están con su video, okay. Vamos a ver, serían Isaura en, a ver, ¿quién tengo acá? Muy bien. Tengo a Juan Marcelo, ¿ok? Isaura, ask the question and Marcelo, answer the question. Ok. Ok, teacher. What are they doing? They are having a live class. Ok. Vamos a mejorar esta entonación. A ver, vamos a ver. ¿Quién quiere hacerla? Vamos a ver. Hi. Ok, please, Hi. go ahead. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Okay, no es doing, okay? Doing. doing, doing, okay? What are they doing? Okay. Doing. What are they doing? Yes, para abajo, okay? Falling okay. intonation, what are they doing? What are they doing, okay? What are they doing? Of course. Okay. Vamos a ver, a ver, ¿quién más lo quiere decir? Um, ok, hey. please. What are they doing? Excelente. Ajá. ¿Alguien más lo quiere decir? What are they doing? No. Ok, el in es el que hay que bajarlo. Doing. What are in, they in, doing? In. Yeah, excelente. What are they doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. So, vamos a ver un poquito, digamos, como de conocimiento general acerca de los verbos. About the verbs. We have some minutes yet. 
Okay, so we uh, want to study just a little bit how to make verbs uh, in the ing verb form, okay? How to transform them. Okay, so let's look at this first, okay? We have the infinitive form of the verb, okay? A verb is a word to express action or activities, right? Now, let's look at this baby, okay? The first is sleep, okay? Smile. Mm -hmm. Next one, breathe. breathe. Mm -hmm. Walk. Walk. Okay. And here, it's an activity. Eat. Eat. What is she eating? She eats ice. Ice cream, right? Ice cream. She is eating ice cream. Good. Uh, okay. Let's try to see this other. This is. Oh. Swimming? Yes, I want to show you here. Just give me one second because it's. Mm. Mm, it's because of this. All right. Here it is. Okay. Vamos a abrir para que se vea un poquito. Okay. So let's look at this action. Uh huh. Swim. The verb is swim. Okay. The verb is swim. Swim in the pool, right? Or swimming in the pool. All right. Ahora, ¿cómo hacemos para decir esa acción? En el momento que estamos hablando, ya vimos que le agregamos ing al verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo sería el verbo sleep? Sleeping. 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 Yes. ¿Cómo sería el verbo smile? Smiling. Smiling. El verbo read. Reading. El verbo walk. Walking. Walking. Okay. Eat. Eating. Eating. Okay, swim. Swimming. 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 Okay, then let's go and look at this because this is very interesting. Okay, we have some rules. Okay, we have some rules to transform the, the infinitive into the ing verb form. This is for spelling, okay? These are the spelling rules. All those verbs that end in a letter E, los que terminan en una letra E, eh, solamente vamos a quitar la letra E y le vamos a agregar la let las letras ING, okay? Veamos acá en esta lista cuáles tenemos que terminan en letra E. A ver. Take. Right. Take, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. take, take. Esos tres, miren, quitamos la letra E, drop letter E, and we add ING, y le agregamos ING, miren, drive, driving, take, taking, no decimos taking, ¿verdad? Decimos taking. Ahora, vamos a ver la siguiente. Las palabras de una sílaba que terminan en vocal consonante, entonces esas van a doblar, doblar la consonante, ¿ok? ¿Cómo la van a doblar? Vamos a ver. Dice acá, por ejemplo, vamos a ver, uh, no tenemos una de doblar acá todavía. No, esa no se dobla por la razón. La razón es porque aquí no hay eh, un sonido de consonante antes de el sonido de vocal. Aunque estén esas dos letras, E, A, solo se dice I, ¿verdad? El sonido. El sonido solo es I. No es por las letras escritas. Es por el sonido, ¿ok? Es por el sonido. Entonces, E, A son I. Entonces, solo hay un sonido de vocal ahí, 
no hay una consonante antes, ¿verdad? Entonces, no le ponemos, no le ponemos doble, ¿verdad? No le doblamos la consonante. Vamos a ver. Uh, la siguiente es que um, si el verbo termina en una Y, solo le vamos a agregar ING. Mantenemos esa Y porque el sonido de esa Y es como el sonido de una I, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, dice study. ¿Ya? Es a D, como que fuera una I, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente vamos a agregar ING. Y cuando lo pronunciamos, lo vamos a pronunciar un poquito más largo. Vamos a decir studying, ¿ok? Studying. 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 No vamos a decir studying. No, vamos a decir studying. Studying. Ok, bien. Voy a llevarlos a esta. Ok. Voy a llevarlos a esta. Y veamos. Hay verbos que tienen dos palabras, como por ejemplo, wake up, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir wake up, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir waking Ah, ok. Entonces lo vamos a escribir acá. Waking up. Seguimos las mismas reglas, ¿verdad? Que como termina en una E, we drop letter E and add I -E. What about sleep? Sleeping. Ok. What about get up? Ah, este sí es, este es un... Up. Exactly. Este es un ejemplo de el verbo que les digo, que va consonante, vocal, consonante, ¿verdad? Entonces, sería que doblo la letra T, ¿ok? Double T. Getting up. Okay. Right. Writing. Writing. We drop letter E and add ING. What about work? Work. Work. Excellent. Study. Study. Wash. Washing. Washing. Okay, ese no sufre ningún, no tiene ningún problema, ¿verdad? Washing. Solo agregamos el ING. A ver, con el watch. Washing. Washing. Very good. Take. Hey. Yes. Hey. Drop letter E. Drive. Drive. Driving. Driving. Eat. Eating. Eating. Yes. Speak. Speaking. Very good. A ver, ¿cuál sería el infinitivo de este verbo que está acá? Having. Have. Have. Having. Eh, Tenemos having. Sería have, el verbo. Ahora vamos al contrario. Los ING los vamos a convertir en infinitivo. ¿Cuál es el infinitivo de este verbo? Vamos a ver. Right. 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 Uh -huh. right. right. Uh -huh. Dance. Dance. Dancing. Dancing. Ok, yes. What about swimming? Swim. 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 Ok. Uh -huh. Este es otro ejemplo, miren, este es otro ejemplo del que doblamos la consonante, miren, del que decimos, es una sola sílaba el verbo, tiene un, una vocal y una consonante, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a doblar, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Go. Going. Go. Go. Go, ok. Putting. Put. Put. Very good. Playing. Play. Walking. Walk. 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 Mm -hmm. Sitting. Sit. Sit. Ese es otro ejemplo del que les digo que hay que doblar la consonante del final. Miren. Vamos a ver. Making. Making. Make. Cooking. Cook. Cook. Shopping. Shop. Shop. Yeah. Otro ejemplo del que no teníamos en la lista aquella, ¿verdad? Shopping. Shop. Ok. Doblamos la consonante del final. Miren. Double P, double T. All right. Double T over here. Ok. There you are, guys.
Entonces, regresando. Ya son las dos. Ya son las dos. Regresando acá. Going back to the baby actions. Okay? The baby is sleeping, right? What is the baby doing? What is the baby doing? Baby smiling. Smiling. The baby is smiling. Yeah, the baby is smiling. All right. What are they doing? What are they doing? They are reading. reading. They are reading. reading. They are reading. Okay. What is she doing? She walks. She, walk. she is She's walking. walking. Okay. What mm -hmm. is the baby doing? Baby is eating ice cream. cream. The baby is eating ice cream. Okay. Podemos decir para el verbo eat, podemos decir having or taking. Okay. Having or taking. Eating. Okay. Son similares. Podemos decir eating breakfast or having breakfast. Podemos decir eating lunch or having lunch. Eating yeah. dinner or having dinner. Okay. Podemos, al momento de comer, cualquiera de los dos verbos suena bien. También con take a veces suena bien. Vale, vamos a ver en esta. What is the baby doing in this video? Baby. The baby, baby is, is swimming. swimming. Okay, there you are. Okay, mm -hmm. people, I think that now we know the WH question. Question, uh, questions in the present continuous tense, all right? Ya vimos entonces cómo es en el presente continuo hacer preguntas, ¿ok? Con las palabras WH, ¿verdad? Ya vimos que los verbos al agregar ING tenemos que tener cuidado. También vimos que hay rising intonation and falling intonation for questions. Rising for direct questions and falling for information questions, WH questions, okay? So is there any question so far? Support's a good teacher. Great. I, so good. Excellent, excellent. Good. Guys, eh, ¿cómo les va con la plataforma? Ya ahorita ya prácticamente ya debe de ir dando por finalizado la plataforma. ¿Cómo van? Finish. Okay. I am finished. Nice. So, the, uh, the nice. final exam too, Marcelo? Yes. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. Me too, teacher. Isaura. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Let me encourage you to uh, do the final exam. And remember that that's to your own rhythm, ¿ok? Eso va a su propio ritmo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí denle ustedes para estar practicando y hagan todos los ejercicios que los mismos videos les van indicando hacer, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y vayan haciendo los ejercicios del de libro que aparece, ¿verdad? De ahí en la plataforma para que uh -huh. tengan la base para poder ir a hacer los knowledge, ¿ok? Los uh -huh. Okay, people, allow me, allow me to call the roll, okay? Alexandra Patricia Arevalo Reyes. Here. Okay, Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martinez. Present. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Carlos Eduardo Argumedo. Cristina Stephanie Ortiz Mancía. Edwin Alexander Hércules Torres. Present teacher. Eunice Abigail Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Isaura Belia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Jonathan Mauricio Aguilera Clímaco. Acuérdense que la asistencia es importante, ¿verdad? Juan Marcelo Flores. Present teacher. Mariana Denise Monterrosa Portillo. Present. Marvin Alberto Aguiluz Martínez. Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present teacher. Néstor Arnoldo Mendoza Larcón. Present. Ok. 
Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present. Rafael Gómez Argueta. Uh, he's, not, he's not in this group anymore. Uh, Yamilet Geraldina Martínez de García. Present, teacher. Okay. There you are, people. So uh, if there are, there are no more questions, then I think time is over. And see you tomorrow. Have a very good rest of the day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. Take care. Bye. Bye.